Pink Angels and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if you're new. So today's video is going to be a what's in my bag. I love filming these, I love watching these and this is my first one of the new year. So I thought it'd be really fun to show you what is in my bag because I have a new bag and it's huge. It holds so much stuff, like it's so full right now. And I thought it'd be really interesting to just go through it and show you what I have in there. So before I get started, please do make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And if you're new here, then my name is Amy and I post beauty, fashion and lifestyle content, always involving lots and lots of pink. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, then please do make sure to subscribe and become part of my Pink Angel family. I'm so glad to have you here. And if you enjoy the video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and feel free to follow me on Instagram. It's at alohaimi underscore. There's always lots more pink pictures over there and I'm always chatting to you throughout the day on my stories. So I'd love to have you on my Instagram as well. So with all that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and get on with the video. So if you can actually see me, then that's great because I literally like blend into the background. This always happens in my bedroom. I always like look like a pink marshmallow and just blend in with everything around me. <laughs> so anyway, this is my handbag that I'm currently using. It is enormous. It is so big and it's also really, really heavy. But yeah, it's from Victoria's Secret. It has these gorgeous flowers on it. And it's just a really big tote bag, which I have been using for university and work and just general everyday life carrying this around. I don't have all of these things in it all the time. Sometimes I don't like carry around my laptop all the time, but obviously if I'm going to uni, then that'll be in there. So currently, this is what it looks like inside. It's pretty organized and I'll just go ahead and start taking things out. So the first thing I have is my water bottle. I love that this bag is big enough to take my water bottle with me because I like to take it wherever I go. Um, this is from a brand called Smash and I got it in Sainsbury's and it's really pretty pink and white ombre. I love it, it's good for the environment and I always need to have water with me. I have a coffee carrier from Starbucks, as you do, you know, because quite often I pop into Starbucks drive through before I head to work and I get drinks for my friends and things at work so that's what that's from. <laughs> I need to put that in the recycling. Next I have like things at the back here so I have my laptop in here. So I have a MacBook Air and it has this really beautiful case which is from Coconut Lane. It's pink and marble and it's so so pretty and actually matches my phone. I'll go and get my phone it's charging over in the corner. So I got the laptop case that matches the phone case. It's pink marble as well and my phone case says Amy on it. It's so so pretty and I love that you can personalise these now. But yeah, I love this laptop case. It just looks really pretty. Obviously I don't carry my laptop around everywhere I go but when I'm at university or at work I do take it with me. So next I have the new Vogue. <laughs> it's a thick Vogue this month. I just got this in the post yesterday so I just popped it in my handbag so that I can read it when I'm on my break at work, when I'm having my lunch. It's quite nice to just sit quietly and read Vogue or I'll read it later. Look at that. The flower bomb page from Victor and Rolf. That's so pretty. <laughs> I love when you get samples. There's a Misty Or sample as well. I love that. So yeah, I have a massive Vogue in there. Then I have my kind of stationary things. So I have two notebooks and my diary. So my diary this year is really cute. It's got afternoon tea on it. And I think my mum got the calendar for this and it came with the diary. So she kind of gave that to me. And this is what my week looks like. I've got some like cute stickers in there and I've highlighted things to keep myself super super organized because I am just such a scatterbrain and I forget things all the time so I need to be super organized in order to actually get to places at the right time because I'm just so forgetful so 
I rely on my diary a lot. <laughs> then I have a big piece of paper. This was like a big poster um, for a project that we were wo working on at university. Then I have this little pink notebook. It's just like a little jotter and it's very cute and I got this in a set with a few of them and I just have this in here because I use it for university and because it's so thin it's not heavy and it doesn't take up much space at all but I can do some of my uni notes in there and then I also carry this notebook with me all the time it's actually almost finished I always write in pink of course um, but it's really pretty marble and rose gold and I write my to-do lists and all of my video plans, video ideas, Instagram content, all of the things that I need to know for my social media and things, I write it in this notebook and yeah I don't know where I would be without this because sometimes randomly I just like come up with an idea for a video or something and I like to always write it down when I think of things because like I said I'm very forgetful so it's good to carry that notebook around with me so that I can plan all of my content. Then I've got a little makeup bag in here so I have this bag from Victoria's Secret. I love the pink stripes. I have quite a few from this line because I just think it's so classic looking and it says Victoria's Secret in black sparkles. So it's really pretty and then the little zip has a cute little heart and things like that and I just love it and it's a really good size because I can fit quite a lot of makeup in here. I don't carry too much makeup around with me on a daily basis because I don't really feel like I need to top up my makeup all that much but sometimes if I'm at university for a long day and then I'm going straight out afterwards it's good to kind of have a few little essentials with me. So firstly in here I have a little pack of tissues then I have a Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is in the shade Cool Medium 2. I love this concealer. I've mentioned this so many times before, but this concealer is everything. I'm only wearing this on my face today. I don't have any foundation on. I just popped on some concealer and I absolutely adore this. And to go with it, I have this little brush, which is severely bashed. I think I actually like stood on this brush. It, that's why it's dented but <laughs> it's an amazing brush. It is the Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques and I love it. it. I don't use it for my crease, I use it for putting on any spots or redness on my face and it's just incredible. So I normally carry those two with me in my handbag. And then I have a powder. This one's from MUA and it just does the job because it's a little compact. So I usually use a loose setting powder like the Kat Von D one but that's not really very easy to travel with. Loose powder goes everywhere, so it's better to have a compact, so I have that. And then a little brush from Bare Minerals. I do kind of want to get a better brush because this one tends to shed a little bit, so that's not fun. Um, and then I actually only have two lip products, it would appear in here. Normally there's so many lip products in my bag and quite often they end up kind of rolling about at the bottom but today I have the lip gloss that I'm wearing right now and it is the Victoria's Secret Satin Gloss and this is in the shade Slice of Heaven it's a gorgeous baby pink kind of iridescent shade and I really really like it it also tastes kind of like vanilla it's very sweet and pretty And I love these glossies because they're just so easy to wear. You can just shove them on. They're moisturising. It's a really go-to easy gloss, especially when you're wearing very kind of natural makeup like I am today. I just wear them on their own. Sometimes I've got lots of shades of these. Sometimes I like put them on as a topper on top of a lipstick. It just depends, but they're incredible and I really recommend them. And you can normally get them at the Tills at Victoria's Secret and get like five or six in a pack. So they're great. I also have my all-time favourite lip gloss in here. This pretty much just lives in my handbag and it is the Fenty Beauty Gloss in the shade Fussy. I have talked about this so much on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram. I just adore this lip gloss. I actually need to get a new one soon because it is running out but I feel like this is just the best most perfect lip gloss ever. It's like 
kind of pinky tinted but it's not too much you can wear this on top of a lip liner and lipstick or you can just wear this completely on its own and it adds a little bit of a tint to your lips it's just so like glossy and makes your lips look so like plump and juicy and I really really do adore this it smells lovely as well and it's kind of fruity tasting and honestly it's just the best lip gloss it's just so comfortable this is like my go-to lip gloss then in here I also have a little facial mist. So this is one from The Body Shop and this is their Mandarin Energizing Face Mist. I swear by this stuff. I think it's incredible. I took this on a flight and it was a long haul flight and I just spritzed this on my bare face every kind of couple of hours and honestly I arrived and my skin was so glowy and felt so refreshed it didn't feel like I'd been on an airplane for like nine hours so I highly recommend this and I use this every morning when I have washed cleansed and moisturized my skin I just spritz this on to kind of wake myself up because it's really refreshing and very kind of light and citrusy and it's just really nice to wake you up and also feel like it just wakes my skin up gives it a really nice glow and a really nice base to put my makeup on and then I take another one with me in my handbag just to kind of spritz throughout the day to add a really nice kind of healthy glow to my skin and then finally in this little makeup bag I have got a perfume and this is the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Holiday. I mentioned this recently in my perfume collection. It is so pretty and this is just a really beautiful perfume. It has that kind of signature bombshell scent which is very like kind of grown up and sexy and really lovely and then it also has a nice kind of wintry festive hint to it as well. I think there's like pomegranate and jasmine I think that's what's in this and I just I really do adore this and I've been wearing it a lot recently and having it in a little roller ball is really great because you can just pop it in your bag and apply it throughout the day just to kind of freshen up. So next I have another little pouch and this is the rose gold pouch which came with my Ted Baker bag and I'm sure you've seen this lots of times before in my What's My Bag videos, but I always just kind of switch this into whatever handbag I'm using because it has all of the kind of essentials that you will need in case of like an emergency or just kind of like daily life kind of things that you'll need. So personally, I have another facial mist. I have a thing for facial mist, so I just really like them. <laughs> so this one is a mineral mist and it's kind of minty scented and it's really nice. And then I have a hand cream, which is from Kath Kidston. It's very pretty with pink and roses on it. And it is the Rose and Peony Hand Cream. It smells really nice. It smells like Turkish Delight Sweeties. Then I have some medicine things and some cams. Lip balm. Little hairbrush as well. And then, oh, more paracetamol. So there's nail scissors, <laughs> uh, tweezers, a nail file and bubbles, Kirby grips, clear hair elastics and I have my paper soap which I mentioned before in these videos but this is really fun. It's just a little pouch with little sheets of paper, it smells like strawberries and then you literally just run this under the water and it turns into soap so it's really nice because sometimes if like bathrooms have run out of soap it's just nice to have that especially like kind of public bathrooms it's just nice to bring your own uh, then in here we've also got a hand sanitizer this is a k-rex one and it is the love hearts fun edition hand gel so it's really really sweet and it smells lovely and it's baby pink so what's not to love and then I think finally just in this little section there's just like some like girly things that you need to carry with you and I think that's it really so that's everything in that pouch and then I have my sunglasses I quite often just keep these in the car but I think I was wearing them the other day so I popped them in my bag and they're in this cute case from Monsoon Accessorize and these are my sunglasses. I got them from Boo Avenue and I absolutely adore them. They look like this and they're baby pink with gold cat eyes and I think they're really cute. I love them. They do them in black as well and I just really like them because they're not too big on my head because I find sunglasses just 
quite often look really really massive on my face but these are just the right size you know the right size to put on and pretend that you're a celebrity but not so big that you look really silly <laughs> so yeah I love them they're baby pink as well so what's not to love okay so I have my purse in here and I will just go through it. So my purse is the same purse as I always use. My Ted Baker purse, which is rose gold and has a lovely bow detail and then a rose gold zip. It has a section in the back which just has some receipts in it. And then my little card from Victoria's Secret when I went and got fitted. So this just has like all of my information like all the kind of brows that I tried on which I liked it tells me the size that I am and yeah it's really great they're really helpful in Victoria's Secret if you want to go and get measured then I highly recommend it because they're really lovely and it's important to wear the right size so I always keep that little card in my purse just in case I pop in and do some shopping then I get the styles that I know fit to me and I like this is the inside of my purse. Right now it's looking kind of messy. There's these big pockets at the back which have all my loyalty cards. And then the, I keep the kind of prettier cards like in these slots here. And then this side is like the ones that I actually really use. So I've got like my driver's license, my bank card and then my Starbucks card which I use almost every day, not gonna lie. I have my pretty Sephora Insider card which I don't use every day because there's no Sephora in the UK but when I go to America and Canada then I use this and then in the other side the pretty cards that I have are the Superdrug card, my B Swarovski card, I have the Debenhams Beauty card and then a Boo Avenue card and then in this section we have got Oh, I always sign up to so many loyalty programs and when they ask at the tell, do you want to become part of our loyalty club? I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? So I've got Costa, Paper Chase, the Perfume Shop, the Body Shop, and then a Waterstones gift card. I spent some of that gift card, but there's still a little bit left on it. And then there's also a Tim Hortons drink thing, which I think is so cute because they stamp little maple leaves when you get a free drink, when you buy a drink, I think that's cute, I love their stamp. And then on the other side, my loyalty cards are the guest list, which is for the guest store, which I really like, I was in there this week. <laughs> um, my adopted donkey, she's called Ruby, and I like to keep her in my purse. I have an NUS student card, I have a monsoon accessorised card, Holland and Barrett, even though I don't really show up there that often. Uh, Boots Advantage card, which I use all the time. TK Maxx Treasure card, which again I use all the time. And then finally, in these pockets here, I have the little vouchers that you get in Boots. And then some receipts. And then I also have these, which are the colours of the Le Creuset that I have. So I have the pink and the blue Le Creuset, and I keep the labels in here so that I know the names, the shade names because I was in the shop this week looking to buy more mugs and I couldn't remember the shades so <laughs> I took that with me and yeah that's all in there. I have a bag for life, it's super cute, it looks like an ice cream cone and it's very handy for when you're going shopping. I have my daily vitamins, I always seem to forget to take these like when I put them in my bedroom or my kitchen I just always forget them so it's better to just put them in my bag and then that way when I get to work or when I get to university I realise, I look in my bag and then realise I've not taken up my vitamins for the day so I take them with me. This little card holder which is from Monsoon Accessorise, it's cute because it's got a little picture of London on it and I really love that and it, it just has my gym card on one side and then my student ID card on the other. Just quite good to keep those two together. And that then a little tin of mints. These mints were originally shaped like Minnie Mouse and they were from Disneyland. Um, but now I've eaten all the Disney ones and I just refill this tin because it's pretty so I have chewing gum and compliments from Aldi in there and it's just quite handy to keep all of my mints together. 
Then on the subject of mints, I also have these, which I got these quite recently and they're incredible. So these are the Listerine Go Tabs. And I just saw them at the end of the aisle in Sainsbury's one day and they were on a kind of introductory sale so I thought I would give them a go. And they're basically like a little tablet of mouthwash and you don't spit it out, you just chew these and then swallow it and you're literally, your breath is so fresh. It's really really great if you've been out to dinner or you've just had a coffee or something like that. These are really really great because they're so strong and they just, it does just feel like you've just taken a shot of mouthwash. So these are really great and I keep them in my handbag, keep them in my car, they're just really really great. And then I have a pencil case which is from Paper Chase. My friend Kristen got me this for my birthday, iridescent sparkles, it's very cute. And inside I have a pink pen, always have at least one pink pen with me. And then I have some of these really pretty pastel highlighters. I carry these because I use them for my diary and they're just really handy. And then I also have a few other pens including a pink sparkly crystal one and then another sparkly one. This is the actual Swarovski pen. It's so heavy but I really like this pen. It's very good and I like to write with this in exams because it makes me feel fancy and I think it might be lucky. <laughs> so have my pencil case with me and honestly there's still more in here like I told you it's a big bag. I have my car keys so I've got the actual car keys themselves. My car is purple it's very very cute and I love my car so I've got my keys on there. I've got a little registration key ring that says Amy1. I was given this I think when I passed my driving test or maybe Maybe even when I got my provisional license, I got given this cute little keyring and I just always keep it on there. I have a trolley coin because I'm a grown up now and apparently you need a trolley coin. <laughs> and then I have my, after saying that I'm a grown up, I then have my house key which looks like a butterfly. If you go to Timpson's, which is like inside Sainsbury's or Morrison's, it's where you go to get like your boots rehealed or your dirt or your dry cleaning and they will cut your keys and make them really pretty so you can get like Disney princess keys as well and things so that's quite cool. <laughs> and then another keyring that I've got is one that was gifted to me from Disney and it's got Tinkerbell on it and she's standing at my little A. And then what else? Then I just have it all on this little pink leather handle. And then in here I've also got another pink pen. I have like a whole pack of the pink Bic pens. There's a load of receipts in here. They've got Halfords because I needed to get you windscreen wipers yesterday. <laughs> I have Guess because I bought a new top from Guess this week. And then another receipt from Guess. It's just I got given two. Don't know, I only bought one top, but they gave me two receipts and then I have a little receipt from TK Maxx because yesterday I found more the crazy ramekins and pink things that match my set so I picked up more of them and I also bought myself a new handbag which I will show you at the end because I just couldn't resist it's one that I've been looking for for ages like it's been on my wish list for a long time and then I just saw it in TK Maxx and thought I had to so <laughs> That was in there and then I also have my glasses because I desperately need these to read. I really do struggle even just looking at my phone. I hold it like <laughs> like this, you know like how your granny does when she can't read things. Yeah, that's me. So my friends laugh at me at university because I always zoom in so far on the screen of my laptop so that I can see because it's that bad. So yeah. So yeah, these are my glasses. <laughs> I don't really like wearing them when I have makeup on because my makeup always kind of melts and then I get little red marks there and that annoys me. I prefer wearing my glasses like in the evenings when I've taken my makeup off or like no makeup days but I should wear them more. <laughs> um, but these are from Carolina Herrera and they're just really nice and thin at the sides and I think they're quite cute. And finally I have a clear nail polish. This is a little one from Ciati. I have loads of these CIT ones so I always just shove one in my bag because I always, always rip my tights. I hate wearing tights but obviously I live in Scotland, it's the winter time and it's freezing cold so I need to wear tights but 
guarantee you like every day I always I always always rip my tights so I'm trying really hard to catch the little holes early and put a little bit of nail polish on so that I can actually keep wearing my tights and not look an absolute state I just hate the way it looks when you have a hole in your tights but it just always happens to me at work I'll walk past something or university I'll catch it on a desk or literally even just driving I kind of like turn the wheel and then my bracelets or my rings and things like catch on them <sighs> it's just a nightmare so I have a nail polish to try and stop that so yeah so that is the bag finally completely empty it's huge and it holds so much and honestly like do I need all of this stuff probably not I should probably clear up a lot of these things but yeah I really love this bag and also it's so huge that I can literally take a change of clothes sometimes like after work if I am going out afterwards I will take a change of clothes I'll take a jumper my hats and gloves they go in there when I get inside like there's just so much room and I love this bag and I actually didn't even pay for this I got this for free well not exactly free when you spent 75 pounds in uh, the Black Friday sale in Victoria's Secret then you got sent this bag so that is how I got this um, and yeah I just love it it says Victoria's Secret and gold writing and I just think it's really beautiful it's a lot easier to show you now because it's empty <laughs> but I just love it and I think it's really really practical and I love that the inside is bright red as well I think it's really nice and it's quite kind of like wintry looking so it's been great and I really like it just to show you the bag that I got in TK Maxx yesterday because I'm so excited about it I got a beautiful pink Michael Kors bag it looks like this and it's just the most lovely delicate kind of girly feminine bag I just adore it it is gold and baby pink and it has this really nice long strap and I just I cannot wait to wear this it's just so adorable there's a little pocket at the back and then and then this is what it looks like inside. I can't wait to use this. It's a lot smaller obviously than my everyday bag but I think that this will just fit like the absolute essentials like my purse, my glasses and a few makeup-y bits. So yeah this had been on my Pinterest board. This has been on my Pinterest wishlist board for honestly like years and I just saw it in TK Maxx yesterday and I had to get it. So I love this and I can't wait to use it. After all of that, I'm actually really quite out of breath now, but that is everything that I keep in my handbag on a day-to-day -day basis. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and yeah, let me know what you guys keep in your handbags because I'm really intrigued to know if there's anything that I don't keep in my handbag that I probably should. So let me know and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Mm -hmm.